It's my favorite time of day. It's time for our interesting stories chat with Richard Southern. And let's start with a potentially controversial topic, the use of AI in care homes. Yeah, would you trust your loved ones with AI robots, Michelle? I mean, uh, maybe? I don't think so. I, I mean, we're all going to get old one day, hopefully, and I, I think I would like to have a caring human with me. That's the hope. But of course, we know how uh, there is a, a, a lack of uh, employees to do these jobs. Uh, you know, uh, certainly here in Ontario, there's a staffing crisis when it comes to you know, uh, care homes. What we're looking at here is a robot called Nadine. She's been programmed, and they're trying to roll something like this out to take care of the elderly. And they showed off Nadine at a, a, a conference in Geneva the other day. She showed off her conversational skills with the elderly. You know, she sang, she played bingo with, uh, with some residents at a Singapore old age home. They showed some clips of that. Experts say AI robots like this, when they become a little bit more advanced, will have an important role to play in caring for both the sick and the elderly and in fact they some believe the robots could prove more effective than human caregivers because after all they don't get exhausted they're there 24 hours a day and this might be this might be very helpful going forward you know there's a lot of worry right about ai destroying humanity this is the flip side it could really help us out yeah i get that but imagine waking up in the middle of the night to nadine over your bed? No. <laughs> Terrifying. Terrifying. I, I want a, what do you need a robot for? I want a robot to do the dishes and the laundry for me. That's what I want. Oh, I'll have to think about that one. You know what? I think I agree. And maybe to cook as well. Now, yes, Richard, please. it appears there are fewer, happier people flocking to the happiest place on, on Earth these days. Tell me about this. Uh, the House of the Mouse built uh, at Disney World and Disneyland, apparently. Uh, traffic is down here in the summer months, and you think, boy, everyone might be looking to go. Maybe not so much. Experts say it's a sign, perhaps, that higher prices are keeping people away. Uh, Pre-pandemic, uh, the average wait time to board a ride in Magic Kingdom was 47 minutes. Uh, now it's 27, so it's under pre-pandemic levels. Experts say a combination of high prices, but uh, also Florida's hot heat and the fact that many maybe want to visit Europe or other destinations coming out of the pandemic are the reasons. There's dynamic pricing in, uh, in Disney these days, but it could cost uh, up to 179 bucks for an adult to go in on certain days. So it's certainly pricey to go down there, isn't it? It really is. And if you've ever seen someone eating a turkey leg in the heat, it's, it's not great. Uh, <laughs> a very ancient but unusual tradition has played out in one Mexican town. A mayor has married a caiman, a, 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 uh, an alligator-like creature. And here's the, here's the romantic <laughs> ceremony, Michelle. Uh, okay. <laughs> Two Please, <inches> explain. On. <laughs> Please explain. Please <laughs> explain. Well, the marriage between a man and a female caiman has apparently taken place in Mexico for 230 years. It's believed to bring good fortune to people. This particular mayor by the name of Victor Hugo Souza married the reptile and in the ceremony said, quote, I accept responsibility because we love each other. He was pictured kissing the animal on the head. Like I say, I'm, you know, to each his own, whatever you want to do. I just don't know if anyone asked the poor caiman about that. Yeah, first. I mean... Congratulations to the happy couple, I suppose. Sure. Thanks for joining yeah. us, Richard, as always. Mazel, mazel tov. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye.